Hi everyone! Welcome to Cheerful Journey Channel. I'm Audrey and today I'll be sharing with you my bullet journal setup for the month of July. To speed up the process, I already drafted the drawing using my pencil. I actually had a hard time deciding on what design to use for this month's theme. So I reflected for a while on what I like about the month of July. Then I remember that here in the Philippines, this is usually the month where we can buy a lot of fruits in the market at an affordable price. So I decided to draw different fruits for this month's spread. Now as you can see, I am inking the layout or the drawing using my Sakura Pigma Micron Pen. I drew fruits of different colors. I used sliced lemons, grapes, watermelons, apples, strawberries, and a lot more. I decided to use my Karen Dash watercolor to make the drawing more vibrant and alive. Since I'm a lefty or a left-handed, I usually color in a clockwise direction lest I smudge the colors with my hand. So I colored the sliced lemons first. Then I colored the watermelons and then the strawberries. As you may notice, this is the first time that I filmed myself while doing the actual bullet journal setup. I usually have a 3-5 to five minute video for my channel but this time I think it will be a lot longer compared to the usual ones. So how about you? Do, do you prefer the longer version just like this one or you prefer the shorter version? Now that we're almost done, this drawing actually makes me hungry. Now I'm just adding the seeds to the watermelon and to the strawberries using my Sakura Pigma Micron brush pen. Then using my Tombow Fudinoski brush, I will write July at the center of this drawing. After writing, I decided to go through the down strokes again to make it look thicker. I like how our cover page turned out. Now let us go to the next page. Using my Sakura Pigma Micron Pen in point zero three, I drew the lines of the calendar. We have 31 boxes for each day of the month of July. Then once again, I will do brush calligraphy for July. Then using my Karen Dash watercolors, let us add a pop of color on this page by drawing watermelons. Watermelon is one of the easiest drawing to do because you just need to draw a triangle and then add color green at the end of the slice. To make the drawing look more realistic, let us add some seeds. Mm -hmm. 
Now let us write the days of the week. Now let us number the boxes to correspond each day of the month. Then I tried using the green watercolor as a highlighter for my word for the month. My word for the month is discipline. Then I wrote a quote that I saw online which states, Discipline is being able to force yourself to do something in spite of how you feel, over and over, until it becomes a habit. And now this is the calendar page for this month's spread. On the next page, I wrote the word discipline at the center. And I wrote the six facets of my life where I would like to exercise discipline. These facets are spirituality, family and relationship, personal growth, health, finances, and work. Then adhering to the green and pink theme, I used my Tombow brush pen to highlight each facets. As I go through this month, I plan to write specific details under each facets. For example, in the area of health, maybe I can write that I would discipline myself to exercise at least three times a week. This page is actually a substitute for my habit tracker page. I realize that you cannot form a habit if you don't have discipline. So I decided to have this page instead to pinpoint what are the areas where I would like to establish discipline and eventually form a habit out of it. Then I allotted two pages to list down the bills that I need to pay for this month. Whether we like it or not, bills will come every month so it's better for us to pay on or before the due date to avoid penalty fees. This format has been very useful for me so I've been using it ever since I discovered it. So basically, this is very simple. I just drew four columns to signify bills to pay, the amount, the due date, and the date when I paid the bill. So here it is, the two pages where I will write my bills for the month of July. Then let us go to the daily log. This is where I will write my things to do for each day. So if you've been watching my videos for quite some time already, you would know that I'm fond of using the vertical layout for my daily log. And then just as always, I would write the date and the day on each boxes. And then using my Tombow brush pen, I highlighted the date and the day of each box. Since we've been using a lot of greens and pinks on this month spread because of the watermelon slash fruit theme, I decided to just adhere to it by putting drop shadows which are color pink on these boxes. And now, we have our daily log. And 
that is the last part of our bullet journal setup for the month of July. Now here's a quick flip through of our July 2018 spread. Let me end this video by sharing another quote about self-discipline that I saw online. Self-discipline begins with a mastery of your thoughts. If you don't control what you think, you can't control what you do. We only live once, so we better make the best out of it. So that's it for now. That is our bullet journal spread for the month of July. I hope that you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed doing it. That's it for now, and I hope that you can join me again next time in my wonderful world of cheerful journey. Bye!